Well, good morning and welcome back to City Line. With me, I have two really lovely, warm women who are here to talk about Paint Tacoma Beautiful, one of my favorite programs in Tacoma. Um, and if you don't know about this program, please take a moment to get something to write on because um, I think that everybody in Tacoma knows somebody who will benefit from this program and it would be a lovely gift for you to refer them to. So let's get started. Uh, please join me in welcoming Ms. Amy Allison. You are the Director of Community Mobilization um, for Associated Ministries, which is where Paint Tacoma Beautiful, they hang out underneath that beautiful yes. umbrella. Mm -hmm. Welcome it back, Miss Amy. Thank you. Good to have you here. Good to be back. This woman, who I go way back with, <laughs> every time she smiles, I, I have a little private giggle with her because we had so much fun. Uh, Wendy Morris, you are the Community Engagement Coordinator for mm -hmm. Associated Ministries. Welcome, my love. Thank you. Good to have you here. All right, so you were here a few months ago. Yes. Um, and let's get a refresher about Paint Tacoma. Uh, what's happened since then? Okay, so our paint season has officially started. Yay! Um, and for anyone who doesn't know, Paint Tacoma provides free exterior house painting for yes. low-income homeowners during the summer months. Um, what we do is um, we get homeowners to apply to the program, we assess them to see if they're good projects, and then we match volunteer crews to actually paint the, do the painting, which is why we're able to offer the program fee of charge. I love that. So, Wendy, you're the Community Engagement Coordinator, so what do you do for Paint Tacoma? So my primary role is to recruit volunteers. So we need hundreds of people to come out and paint the homes of at least 27 homeowners throughout the city of Tacoma. I also do the communication and marketing as well. So getting the word out about the need mm -hmm. for volunteers, but also the opportunity for homeowners to apply. Absolutely. And, and I, I got to say, as someone who was on a paint team, and this was probably about mm -hmm, seven, eight years ago. So much fun. Yes. So rewarding. Yes. Uh, you become a family. Mm -hmm. uh, we had barbecues. We brought food. Mm -hmm. uh, we ended up doing things inside and out because you begin to really love that family mm -hmm. and love mm -hmm. that person. Very true. And understand what's beyond the front door. Yes. Um, so it's really life changing. I would highly recommend this. Um, so, what's the benefit of paint Tacoma? I mean, that may seem, seem like a really obvious question, but let's break it down. Okay. Well, for one thing, um, a lot of low income homeowners can't afford to paint their right. own houses. And many of them, who are, if they're seniors or people with disabilities, they don't physically have the capacity. No. And it's one of those things that you can neglect for years until it really becomes an eyesore. And yes. so basically by offering this program free of charge, we're able to um, preserve affordable housing. We're able to beautify homes and neighborhoods. And most importantly, I think, is that we build community connections for the volunteers and the homeowners yeah. together, so. Paint has a way of having its own mind, doesn't it? Mm -hmm. Recently, my partner and I uh, are working on painting um, our house. And we noticed that there were things that we hadn't noticed that just happened real quickly, either due to weather, either more sun, uh, lots of sun, or lots of rain or snow. Mm -hmm. But a certain side of the house, had the paint had just really decided it was done. Mm -hmm. And it wasn't like that six months ago. And I was like, wow, mm -hmm. this is just, I mean, so I, I so understand when you say, you know, you don't have the time, um, nor if you're low income, perhaps the energy or resources to do this. Mm -hmm. And suddenly you wake up one day and the house needs to be painted. Yes. And that's, that's a really sad feeling to mm -hmm. pull up and to have that pride of ownership and to say, I love my house, but I, I can't afford to paint it. Right. But in comes paint to come up beautiful. Dun, dun, dun. So Wendy, how many volunteers do we need? So right now we are looking for seven more crews, okay. which roughly 10 to 12 people. Right. Uh, there's a fun picture of a lovely group of people out painting. And anybody who can, we want them to volunteer. So if they are an individual who says, yes, let's, let's do this. I want to do this. Mm -hmm. Please come join us if you are with a business, a service group, a faith community, a uh, group of friends, group of neighbors, please come together and volunteer. Even if you can volunteer for just one day, yes, makes a big 
difference in mm -hmm. the life of somebody in need. It does. And in our crew, we had uh, people who uh, were good at one thing and mm -hmm. some people who were good at a couple of things and then some people who were good at five or six things. Mm -hmm. And so every time we got together, we would go, okay, well, what are you good at? What am I good at? What do you need me to do? I can't be doing that. What else can I be doing? Mm -hmm. It was so much fun. Oh, yes. I was always in charge of snacks, by the way. <laughs> you know, it's all about food. So, um, so what happens in paint Tacoma, Amy? So, so what, what do the volunteers actually do? Well, they can do anything from start to finish on the house. So that includes prepping the house, which is scraping off any peeling paint, yeah. uh, pressure washing to clean it, um, masking off different parts that need to be masked off, priming, so applying a base coat, and then actually painting. So um, it's not a one-day job. Nope. So we have some crews that serve from start to finish. We have other crews that serve for one day, and they may be doing just one aspect of the project. And then we get other crews in to do the rest. So. Oh, that is so cool. I don't yeah. know if it was organized like that way back when I did it. We just had one crew for one house. That seems, so much, that seems very efficient to say this crew comes in, and they're great with trim, and then you're out. Yeah, mm -hmm. and it's also because not everyone has, a lot of people want to serve, but not everyone has the time to be yeah. able to devote multiple days to doing a project. So Absolutely. it's a way of making sure everybody who wants to serve has that opportunity. I love that. So when you do volunteers need experience, because you know, there's that, that, that saying, oh, I love to paint. You're like, oh! oh. Absolutely <laughs> not. What they need is the heart mm -hmm. and the willingness to give of their time to come and paint and as Amy mentioned, there's lots of different things that somebody can do. We have some people who said, I really am not one for painting, but I take really good pictures. Oh, there we so go. So there's opportunities to serve in multiple ways. Snacks, like you. Yes. Snacks. <laughs> snacks, absolutely. I was, I was, I was great. You mm -hmm. know, soft drinks, snacks, uh, peanuts, oranges. Ab absolutely. But there's no experience needed for anybody to come and volunteer with Pink Tacoma. We what? do have for training. Oh, good. I was going to say, because one of the things <laughs> I loved being the Virgo that I am was that there was a crew leader. Yes. Do, uh, is there a crew leader training? Yes, there is. Okay. There's a crew leader training. It's about two hours. Okay. And it goes over safety, painting techniques, the process in general. And then we hook them up with either a crew or they come with their own crew, either All way. Right. So again, individuals. We have some that will be crew leaders for a group of individuals. Great. Okay, we're going to showcase some houses here. Yes. Okay, so house number one. Uh, let's show that uh, picture of this and tell us about this house. Okay. So this is a homeowner. Um, we have several houses that haven't yet been matched yeah. with crews this okay, summer. Okay, here we go. That's actually one from the well, that's all right. after from a couple years ago. Here we go. Um, oh, like so this, this house um, belongs to a woman who's a widow in North Tacoma. She is both elderly and disabled. Um, when her husband was alive, he was a minister, and they worked on ministries to helping ki children and orf um, orphans and widows in Romania. And her husband's last wish before he died was to have their house painted. So we are looking for a crew who's willing to actually help fulfill that final dream of his. Oh, I love that. Oh, yeah. It, it, that beautiful little thing needs some sprucing up. Okay, mm -hmm. let's go to house number two, Wendy, and this is a South Tacoma house. Yes, this house is owned by a woman who raised three children while working as a waitress and now is raising her 14-year-old grandson. Oh my. Her house actually needed some additional repairs, and one of our wonderful partners, one of the great agencies out there, Rebuilding Together South Sound, has been providing the uh, materials and resources to do the repairs and then we'll come in and do the painting. And we're looking for people who are willing to come alongside and help finish the project for this very deserving homeowner. Absolutely. All right, and then we have house number three, Amy, the one in central Tacoma. Actually, I don't know if we have those pictures, but um, okay. we have a homeowner who is a um, disabled veteran, and he's also a single dad of three children. Aww. And um, he has been, we always get more applicants than we have volunteers to serve. And so sometimes applicants get bumped to the following year. He's been waiting two years. So we are oh hoping my. that this year will be his year that we'll be able to find a volunteer crew to help paint his house. Yeah, we, we, yeah. we want to we say yes to him. Yeah, yes, that was very much so. Mm -hmm. so if someone wants to volunteer, how can they sign up, Wendy? 
they can go to paintbeautiful.org and complete either an individual form or if they've got people joining them, a crew form. And we will be in contact after that, to help them select a home based on their availability because we work with the volunteers to figure out what works best with their schedule. And from there, we provide all the materials and training and support and get them on their way. I love mm -hmm. that. Okay, last, last, last 30 seconds here, Amy. Uh, finally, who makes Paint Tacoma possible? Who do we need to thank? Well, first of all, the City of Tacoma. Um, they're huge supporters of this program. And um, we also have some private funders that help support it. And then we have our sponsors this year, which include Gray Lumber, Habitat for Humanity, Cosmo Construction, and Sherwin-Williams. So really thankful to all of them for Aww. what they provide. And I want to say thank you to both of you and the team that you represent that couldn't fit on the couch in Associated Ministries mm -hmm. for really understanding that the heart of a home, uh, how it looks, how it feels, pride of ownership, um, helps cement our community. It mm -hmm. helps generations grow. It helps people um, live in love and grace and reach out to their neighbors when they feel mm -hmm. like they are seen yes. and they are a part of something. And that's what having a beautiful home does for them. So mm -hmm. thank you for being a part of that, that jewel and that crown that keeps us going because you two are just amazing. And I want to have sure. you back here again and let's get some reports on those homes. And people, get out there and paint. That's all we got to say about that. That's right. All right, mm -hmm. thank you both so much. Thank you. All right, last segment coming up here, and that is going to be in our backyard. I'm not going to tell you what that is. I'll see you in just a few minutes. Don't go away. <laughs>